Aloha, welcome to Where Hawaii Eats. I'm Ann Lee and I'm happy to introduce my friend Chef Seamus Alwyn. He is the executive corporate chef for G-Lion Hawaii. Sure. And what are you cooking today? We have our collaborating garlic shrimp. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of our best sellers for appetizers on the menu. Uh, we try to utilize as much of the local product as we can, so. Okay, let's get started. Sounds good. So we've got our kawaii shrimp. We're gonna just season them up a little bit. I wanna make sure we get both sides there. I like that you're using a tweezer. You had that, brought that special for today? Or Absolutely, that yeah. It's kind of my second set of fingers here, <laughs> so I don't have to keep touching everything. And we're gonna go ahead. And how do you clean the shrimp? I don't think a lot of people know how to clean shrimp. Oh, um, so with the shrimps, actually what we do is we like to try to keep it as almost frozen as possible uh, because the heads don't have any sort of uh, uh, preservative. Mm -hmm. A lot of time the heads, head on shrimp will have preservatives in there. And you know, we're trying not to, to really get that. So these will have a tendency to turn black quickly um, mm -hmm. if we don't use that sort of thing. So. So the name Calabrian, is that about the pepper that you're using, the spice? Can you tell me what so, that is? So yeah, Calabrian is a type of chili from Italy um, that we get specially sent in, mm -hmm. and it's a labor of love by far. Uh, it, it's a jar about this big, and you have to take out every single seed, and then once it's de-seeded, you have to then cook it out for about two hours mm -hmm. to make sure that you get rid of a lot of the, the bitterness and the kick to it, and then it rounds out to a nice hot, hot spicy is, sauce. This is on the menu, correct? Yes, it is. And about five five pieces of shrimp are on this. Every time it's uh, five pieces of shrimp, correct? Mm -hmm. um, and then we do a bunch of garlic in there and some parsley as well as lemon juice. So it's got the acid, the heat, the garlic. It's almost like uh, North Shore shrimp, ch spicy shrimp. Okay. But Italian version. Tell me about Kiora. What, is that, what does the name Kiora mean? So Kiora means here and now. So we built this restaurant around the fact that if people are coming to town or if even you're local, that you've had a long day, everyone's done their thing, mom's gone and done her thing, dad has been doing his, and the kids have been playing at the pool or whatever it might be. Everybody gathers together for a family meal. Coming from an Italian family, that's mm -hmm. what we did. You know, We went to school all day, dad worked, mom worked, and then we always had a family meal at the end of the day. And that's located at the Ritz-Carlton, correct? Correct. That is on the eighth floor, eighth floor? of the Ritz-Carlton on the second tower. What else do we need for the dish? Um, right now, we've got some bread shop, sourdough bread. So we're going to go ahead and toast that up over here. Give a good amount of extra virgin olive oil on there. And we'll let that just crisp up. It's got a nice crust to it, nice crumb to it already, so we just want to get an even uh, distribution of golden brown, hopefully, on there. So. If we don't have access to this type of pan, like, can we put it in a toaster? Is that, is that? Yeah, yeah. A toaster's just fine. Toaster's you just fine? want something to sop up all the, uh, the goodness from the juice and the heads once they, they all uh, kind of make a broth in, 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 as it is. So you have quite an interesting cooking background. Um, you had said that you ha you lived in Maine, if you're from Maine, yes. and you actually cooked for the Bushes. So yeah, actually my first job was a uh, dishwasher at a place called Seascapes Restaurant in Cape Orpus, Maine, which is just next to Kenny Bunkport, and uh, the Bush family always summered there. And we always, would see them coming in, but never really have too much interaction with them. And then one year, they decided to buy out the restaurant and have a private party, so it was really cool. I got to meet George Sr., as well as Barbara Bush, and probably some very influential people back in the day yeah. that I had no, no idea who they were at this That's point. That's pretty awesome. How long do we cook the shrimp? Um, so usually, you know, with a nice hot pan, it'll go pretty quickly, mm -hmm. and um, you'll get that sizzling effect that's starting to happen right now. And once that starts happening, we're slowly bringing it up and get a little bit of caramelization. Mm -hmm. Really, what we're looking for is to make sure that the shrimp tail is cooked, as well as the hot, the heat in the head is warm and nicely cooked. Okay, so we, um, so what else can what else do we need to add to the dish? Okay, so now that it's getting nice and hot here, we're gonna go ahead and add some garlic. About two garlic cloves, would you say? Yeah, I would say about that. 
After that, we can go ahead and add a little bit of parsley to it and our Calabrian chilies. So this is, you know, one of those things, it's a desire heat that you like. The more heat, more chilies. The more kick, yeah, absolutely. Give it a little stir here. So this is a pretty easy dish. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's kind of just having the right ingredients and the so right amount. What are you adding right there? This is lemon juice, fresh lemon squeezed juice, lemon fresh juice. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. Would you say about a lemon, one whole lemon? Um, yeah, probably, that would be probably about a half a lemon. Half a lemon? Okay. A juicy one, you know. And then... Okay, we gotta get this plated. All right. Plated to try Sounds this. Sounds good, all right. So we're gonna go drop it just offset a little bit like this. And kind of go back and forth on it. It looks amazing. I oh, wish you could smell the flavor. Yeah, those chilies have, have a real chilies. kick to them. And then you just take the sauce, pour that right on there. And then we finish it off and with chef. some lemon and flowers to make it pretty. And you're, tell everybody where your restaurant's at again. It's on the eighth floor of the Ritz-Carlton Waikiki Residence. And what are your hours? Our hours are, um, right now we're actually featuring breakfast from 7.30 to 11.30. And then dinner from 5.30 until uh, nine, 9 o'clock right now. Down okay. Here, probably. okay. You want to try one? Yeah. Great. Thank you. All that juice. That's really good. Acid, a little bit of heat, garlic, all those goodies. Very good. Very spicy.